Joining me now is former Governor Robert Ehrlich, the Republican Party candidate for governor. Thank you for joining oh, us. Good to see you. Good so to be back. It's good to have you back. Tell Thank me, you. what do you see right now is the single most important issue facing Maryland? J-O-B-S. Uh, I just came from Towson University. The young people there concerned about the jobs environment. Talk to small business people around the state of Maryland, getting hammered. Mm -hmm. Talk to um, major business leaders in the state of Maryland, loss of our job reputation. It's a tough time out there. We've doubled unemployment in our state, as you know. We have a big budget deficit. It's just all about dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. This campaign is all the fiscal issues, unemployment, taxation, spending, the budget deficit, the misuse of stimulus dollars, our business reputation. So in that sense, I've been very comfortable in our campaign. These are issues I know very well. I've been governor, been member of Congress, been member of state legislature. And uh, we feel pretty good about the campaign to this point. Mm -hmm. So what would you do in office to affect the greatest change, improving the quality of life of the constituents? Cut some taxes. Obviously, sales tax is very regressive, hits poor people disproportionately. It's really a big issue in retail and border Maryland with the small mm -hmm. retail folks where people can run across state lines and, you know, our, our folks get really get hurt. No surprise there. We talk a lot about the regulatory environment in Maryland. Mm -hmm. uh, not typically an issue you associate with a, a major front burner issue, but in Maryland today we have this perception, I think it's reality, that our state agencies are not particularly uh, uh, beneficial to our business community. They're more hostile. Mm -hmm. uh, they cost jobs. They cost job creation. They hurt our business reputation. And this is all about jobs. It really is. It's which governor, which candidate is better at creating jobs. During our last administration, we had 100,000 net new private sector jobs. Not one in this administration. Net new private sector. Now, I'm not talking about government jobs, private sector jobs. Mm -hmm. In Maryland, Cal, sometimes we get uh, bogged down with, geez, all these federal agencies are here, all this federal spending's here, Pax River and APG and, and Fort Meade and NIH. This is great. We love it. We love the federal government. But you also have to have a healthy and vibrant private sector. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of silly asking you this question, but what, what are some of the assets that you bring to this <laughs> job sitting with you with the former governor? Yeah, well, I've been around a little bit, but you know, that's not always an asset. But we did pretty well when I was there. It's, you know, experience isn't great if you had a bad experience, <laughs> right? We were all pretty good, and we left the state with a very low unemployment rate. We left it with a budget surplus a business reputation increasingly very positive around the state of Maryland. Some very exciting environmental initiatives, passed charter schools for the first time, created Department of Disabilities. We're running on my record, but when things are this serious, when there's this much angst among people that work for a living, mm -hmm. they don't want to hear about what you've done in the past. They also want to see where you are and where you want to take the state. They want to see your vision. In our last debate, I talked about leadership. I mean, politicians use cliches, mm -hmm. um, high-sounding speeches. Leaders lead. Leaders make tough decisions. We believe we've manifested, I've manifested that attitude in the past. I'll do it again in the future. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is your opportunity to speak to the voters. What's the single most important message you want to convey? It's J-O-B-S, obviously. It's uh, getting folks back to work, getting Maryland back to work, and fixing our business reputation. We've had a record unemployment, record job loss, uh, record deficits, record debt burden that we've added to. Uh, Maryland's broken. We fixed it the first time. We can fix it again. Mm -hmm. What was one thing that voters don't know about you that maybe they should? I answered this in the debate, I guess. I'm pretty good at rock and roll 60s and early 70s trivia, Philadelphia soul, 60s rock and roll, and modern country. They're my three areas. Okay. I can't carry a tune. I so can't I was play say, anything. Sing them or play no, an no, well, no. Naming, <laughs> okay. I kill Kendall on this. I kill her, by the way. Naming old bands. I'm pretty good at this. And everybody's laughing in the studio, but I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Former Governor Robert Ehrlich, thank you. Good to see you, Cal. My Good pleasure. luck to you. Thank you.